Hello, Ray. Is this Pete? Is this Peter? No, this is. Well, I want to tell you one thing. The quicker y'all get rid of that sloppy pig, the better you can do. Wow. Nobody likes him. Everybody hates to hear him on the TV. They try to be polite to the guy to give him some incentive, but he just continually upsets everyone. Why are you I talking have to never him? in my entire life seen anything as sloppy <laughs> and as uh, arrogant as him eating ice cream while he's on the television. It is impossible to believe you y'all would keep someone that does that. Ray, you're talking you to him. Ray, 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 Ray. You talk to Ray, 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 to be, Ray. Not to the Ray, you're talking to him. I'm, if I'm talking to him, I'm fine. I want him to understand one thing. Mm -hmm. He is the worst, sloppiest announcer I have ever seen in my life, and I will never, never approve of him being on your program. He's eventually going to send. Me and others away from your program. I like Michael K. Sure, he gets upset every now and then. I understand that. But you have a person on there that has less than a professional attitude, and you need to send him up the street. Send him up there on the 4th Avenue and let him walk up and down the street and let him holler and slop his ice cream and Fourth do Avenue's, whatever he wants to do. You don't sound like but a New Yorker. 4th Avenue is not really a thing. 4th mm -hmm. Avenue is a really small street in New York. It's not, that's not I really know what 4th okay. Avenue is. I've been on it many a time. Well, no one spends time on 4th Avenue. Let's just be reasonable. Yeah, uh, let's be reasonable. You need to send time somewhere besides where you are, Pete. Why? You're a very when, 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 I have a question. Person. When did and when, I've, I've been wanting to tell you this for one time. <laughs> Do you know something? You're the producer of a, a movie that says Peter sucks, right? No, I would never yes, call. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You even said it on television. You're lying right now. Oh, you mean Duke sucks. This is why Duke sucks. No, Peter sucks. That's what I'm saying. Oh, got it. Yeah, well... Yeah, got it, got it. You get why it. Why are you so against way. ice cream? Why are you so against ice cream? What did ice cream ever do because to you? Because you're very, very ugly. You're arrogant, <laughs> ugly, and you're a very, a very arrogant person that does not belong in the position that you're in. That's why you're losing people. That's why Michael K. It's better when he's by himself than he is when when you're on there. When you get on, it's when everything goes haywire on that program. I've been listening to that program for ten years, and I hate you. <laughs> it's funny, ain't it? Yes. It's funny. That's your Ray. arrogant attitude. Well, you said you, I hate, you, you shouldn't hate someone. You can't hate someone over. I, you know, I didn't. Yes, I can. I yes, I can. But why? It just seems like because that's... you're arrogant and ugly, and you can't understand anything. You don't even understand what you've done wrong. You think you're right, and you're so wrong. I'm, you know, hey, I'm a country boy, yeah. and I go slop the hogs every now and then. And they sound just like you eating that ice cream, and you were on television. You know, p pigs are one of the smartest animals. P uh, pigs are p uh, uh, pigs are very nah, I got you caught there, animals don't I? No. that only do one thing. What? They sh eat whatever you give them. Well, that we do have that in common, but yes, I'll tell you, you one do. thing. They're yes, one of the smartest do. animals. But you don't have a brain either, so you got that in common too. Oh, well, this is really. Huh. Ray, we well, we'll, we'll, we'll take all of this under. I want to off television. That's what I want to do. I hate to see you. I hate to see you. How old are my, you, Ray? My mom is gonna is gonna come find you, bro. How old are you, Ray? You don't threaten me, son. I'll send the world up there for you. Don't I... threaten me. You don't know who I am. I'm <laughs> one watching you on television. You're not watching me like in my house, are you? I ain't watching your house for nothing. I can't stand you on television while I want to watch your house. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. That's a good point.
Why don't you grow up a little bit? You're 36 or 38 years 36, old, 36. and you still act like a 14-year-old punk. Oh. That's all you are. Mike, are you going to defend your whole attitude? Mike, are you going to defend me here? This is insane that you're allowing this on your show. Well, Ray, you know, you make a lot of good points, <laughs> and uh, we're going to take all Michael, of this under advisement. Let me tell you something. You yeah. will never make anything of that show as long as you have him on it. You well, a lot of people feel like people that, right? Like me, as far as forever, and he's sitting there laughing right now. What do you expect me to do? This is an unreasonable I phone call. I expect you to get, get on, on your, put on your um, T-shirt. T-shirt, okay. <laughs> you put on your T-shirt and get the hell out of that. That's what I think you should well, do. No offense. Leave. No offense. I mean, you don't think you wield that much power. I'm just going to get up and leave because you told me to. That's unreasonable. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't think I have any power on you all, but I can express my opinion. You're absolutely right, you can. This absolutely. Is a, this I is a, sure can. This is and America. I, can, I tell you what, <laughs> I, what I'm trying to tell you is one thing, Pete. You're losing people, and you're going to continue to lose them until <sighs> you change your attitude. I know, but the numbers... Peter are, sucks. Do you understand that? But the numbers are saying that we're not losing people. Numbers are saying we're gaining people. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. I'm Peter, see, you're over. hurting me, Peter. Do you hear what Ray's saying? You're hurting I'm not, no, me. No, but I'm telling you, our bosses have told me that the, there's, we're doing well, they said. They, but Ray thinks you're hurting me, and I've got to take this under advisement. Ray, good <laughs> points. We thank you very much. Thank you, Ray. Okay, you need to, you need to listen to what I'm saying, and I'm telling I am. you, it's going to be a problem if you don't change. Every everything you say, you make excellent points, very very valid, and I am going to take them under advisement. Thank you, Ray, and All thank right. you for listening. Wow, that is now the best phone call in the 15-year history. I, of the I show. can't believe that that who was that? Who did that for Gigi and Andrew? Because the the joy that I saw in their face for drops, like I could just see them. They were making drops with their eyes. You know what ENN should be? A complete replay of that phone call. <laughs> you know what? By the way, it has to be.